over the last couple of decades, Bloomberg has become one of the leaders in financial and business news, not just in the US, but around the world. So of course, they have a iPhone app where you can access that. You open the Bloomberg app up and you'll see the famous Bloomberg terminal, the iconic uh, computer screens for traders, bankers, and uh, investors. The Bloomberg terminal lets you connect to their professional service for definitive market information, data, software that most traders and professional bankers use. You don't expect anything less than the best from Bloomberg for the news, that's what it's known for. And what I like a lot about this, it's not just, it doesn't just give you headlines, it, um, the edit function ability lets you really customize this reader for news. So um, you can scroll down and it'll go through the default uh, categories, uh, worldwide, exclusive, things like that. But you're not just limited to uh, the settings like some other apps are. You can click edit and you can check and rearrange say you don't really care about Asia so you take that off and maybe you want to move the US higher so you grab it and you can move it all the way up to the top that's what you care about done okay and now when you go up you know US and uh, for quicker browsing you can close that and the next tabs will come up so um, Clean all that up and and just look at which section you're interested in reading right now. Now let's uh, look at one news article and you can read the whole article. These arrows says one of six. So it's one of six headlines in the economics uh, section that we just opened. So you can browse through it really quickly. And uh, what's cool is it lets you uh, click that to share directly email to anybody to write back. Now if you go to the news section where you also browse audio, so they have all their podcasts, because as you know, uh, Bloomberg not only has news articles and a TV station, but it also has a radio station. So um, you can click this and it'll load up uh, different audio um, recordings you can download and listen. Now moving on to the markets for market data. Looking at the indices, if you open the, look at the Dow Jones, it'll show you the basic summary and that's what's limited for this app is it doesn't show you a lot of historical data, it just shows you what's happening right now for the indices and for stocks it'll be delayed by about 15 minutes. Um, but what's cool about this, if you turn to landscape mode, turn to landscape mode, it brings up the chart. So you do have a nice chart you can play with here that has the signature Bloomberg orange and white color, black colors. If you turn it back to vertical portrait mode, it'll take you back to the summary and you can for the indices you can click industry movers to see what's uh, the major things that's happening and stock movers I'll show you the leaders and laggers in this industry now the rest is typical my stocks it's just a portfolio stock finder is the same just brings up quotes and for professionals who have access to the Bloomberg professional service or Bloomberg terminal, you can access Bloomberg anywhere in this and you have to go to the settings to um, enter in your credentials. If you have any suggestions or experiences with this, feel free to comment below and add and I'll make our review even better. <music>